right, y'all, welcome back to the show. It's Anti-War Radio. I'm Scott Horton, and on the line is Mike Ogoski. Jeez, I hope I'm saying that right. I think I might have your vowels mixed up. Mike, welcome back to the show. No, it's all good, Scott, and thanks for the uh, the anthrax there through the break. Yeah, well, you're welcome. I'm happy to bring them to you. Hey, uh, so the website is bradleymanning.org, and Bradley Manning is who, and why should anybody care, and why would you make a website with somebody else's name on it? Well, Bradley Manning is the 22-year-old Army Private First Class Intelligence Analyst, currently jailed by the Department of Defense at Quantico, Virginia, and charged with the release of a classified video uh, to WikiLeaks, which shows the killing of uh, 11-some people in the streets of Baghdad, including two employers, employees of Reuters, back in 2007. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh... Of course, uh, you decided early on, we've had you on the show numerous times talk about this, that, boy, this kid's going to need a lawyer. He's going to need help. He's going to know that there are people out here who think that he did the right thing and would like to see him uh, go free. And uh, you got to work. So tell us about the project. Well, I got to, I got to work, and uh, I mean there were there were a whole lot of other people who eventually came out and wanted to get to work too, and I've been uh, I've I've just been the guy who who kind of seeded the thing. Um, the good news is that uh, now Bradley has a lawyer, uh, Mr. David Coombs, out of Providence, Rhode Island, uh, has ten plus years of experience uh, in the military justice system as a uh, as a military lawyer and uh, even holding positions up to. Uh, professor of law uh, within the military, so we're pretty confident that uh, Bradley now has good representation, and the network has uh, has raised just over fifty thousand uh, dollars towards Bradley's defense. Uh, about forty of that uh, will go uh, directly to legal fees, with the balance uh, going to pay for uh, promotional activities and, and outreach and things like that. Uh, Michael Moore, who has joined our advisory board, has pledged uh, $5,000, and WikiLeaks has uh, pledged an, an additional 50000 So at least for the first round of this thing, uh, initial trial, which is may kick off this year, uh, we're confident that we've got a, uh, a qualified and capable, de capable defense funded. Right on. And so... Uh... Tell me one more time this lawyer's name, how you spell the last name, and uh, I think I understood there that you're saying you're already in touch with this guy and, and have it worked out that he's getting the money you're raising, or not yet? Yeah, well, his name is uh, his name is David Coombs, C-O-O-M-B-S. He's based out of uh, Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, he's defended a number of uh, prominent uh, military cases in the past, uh, although he's only been in uh, in private practice now for uh, for just over a year since going off of uh, active duty with the army, uh, and yes, our our organization, or more precisely, our uh, partner organization, Courage to Resist, uh, will be turning over funds that have been collected uh, from donors to date to Mr. Coombs on the on the basis of his his, his invoices, and we've already begun that process. That is so great. I am. Uh... I'm just thrilled to find out how well this is going already. And uh, so, I don't know, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, how people can get involved, uh, phone numbers, snail mail addresses, email addresses, et cetera, et cetera, like that. Well, the uh, the website where everything comes together is uh, www.bradleymanning.org, uh, Manning with two N's. Um, People who want to donate to the Legal Defense Fund should make their checks payable to Courage to Resist, write Manning Defense on the memo line, and mail them to Courage to Resist, 484 Lake Park Avenue, number 41, Oakland, California, 94610. Uh, listeners who would like to send letters and postcards to Bradley can also mail them to that same address, and these will be uh, will be opened and sorted through, uh, you know, death threats and uh, things of this nature. If any, will be taken out. Uh, items that aren't allowed into the Brig facility will be discarded. 
uh, and then the letters will be will be forwarded through uh, somebody who has access to send mail to Bradley while he's in confinement. Okay, now, does anybody have access to him at all? Has he seen his family or anyone else? Uh, we know from a CNN report uh, about a week and a half ago that he was able to meet with his aunt uh, at Quantico, and uh, I don't know the substance of that conversation, but they, there was a meeting. Uh, one of his uh, personal friends also met with him last week uh, and has passed a bunch of information to me about that conversation that he had, uh, some of which is confidential, and I haven't exactly sorted through uh, what I should speak about and what I shouldn't. But the the main message was uh, Bradley's healthy. Uh, he's in as good spirits as could be expected uh, from somebody in his position. Uh, he's been very appreciative of the support uh, that's been expressed uh, from people outside. Um, and uh, he's he's hanging in. Well, that's good to know, and I'm just happy to hear that he's been able to talk with somebody because then they must have told him that, hey, you know, there are millions of people who know your name, and they change their Facebook picture to yours, and they love you, and they care about you, and they're with you, and they're supporting you, and they're putting their money where their mouth is and everything else. And I yeah, hope well, he knows that. You know, sitting in a cage can't be much fun. It'd be nice at least if... If he's heard, you know, all, about all the people rallying to his cause. Yeah, well, there's there's that, and I think that's I think that's a positive for him. At the at the other side of things, there's also uh, there's also very practical considerations. Uh, I know that he asked uh, this one friend to help in procuring a, uh, a television uh, for for the brig to use. We were going to do a, a fundraiser for that, but apparently it got taken care of already through some through some other channels. So. You know, it's the the big things and the small things, I guess, that uh, go into a person's life in that situation. Yeah. Now, I hate to keep bringing this up when I talk to you because I don't want to, you know, amplify it, make it worse in any way. But it seems like it's out there enough that it's got to be confronted. And that is all the personal attacks against this kid. And, you know, the New York Times ran one of the most shameful pieces they've ever run. And that's at a paper that publishes David Sanger and Michael Gordon. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> Judith Miller, Walter Durante, uh, or, yeah, anyway. Uh, and they just attack, just savagely attack this kid. And yet, as published by Wired and as published by the Washington Post, the supposed, at least we are to understand, transcripts, seemingly highly edited transcripts of this kid Manning's conversations with the rat, he makes very clear what his motivation was, and it was that he saw unbelievable wrongs that he could no longer abide, that he felt he was morally duty-bound to tell the people the truth about what he, about the secrets that he had access to on that computer, about the things that he saw with his eyes doing his job, they call it, in Iraq. Well, that's right. I mean, the, 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 only, the only words of Manning's that we have, and we, we don't know, of course, whether they're really his words, but the only words attributed to him uh, are, are those that have been given by Wired and, as part of these chat transcripts. And there was another channel that re released some of them also. And yeah, the the motivation for uh, for this seems seems pretty clear. At the same time, uh, he does express in these messages that uh, he was having a difficult time with uh, with life in the army, which is uh, not an unusual thing. But to go from uh, to go from that and then to you know set aside uh, the noble motivation of you know exposing criminal activity uh, into just this kind of endless yellow journalism is well, unfortunately, part for the course. Yeah. Well, I'm so thankful for the work you're doing. Tell them one more time the website. Well, come on over to bradleymanning.org, and uh, we'll see you there. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. We'll Thanks, be back, y'all. That's Michael Gosky.